So, say in Hindu mythology, they say that the world is the drama of God. God is not something in Hindu mythology with a white beard that sits on a throne and that has royal prerogatives. God in, in Indian mythology is the self, Sat Chidananda, which means Sat, that which is Chit, that which is consciousness, that which is Ananda is bliss. And in other words, re, the, the, what exists, reality itself, is gorgeous. It is the plenum, the fullness of total joy. Wow, we. And all those stars, if you look out in the sky, as a firework display, like you see on the 4th of July, which is a great occasion for celebration. The universe is a celebration. It is a firework show to celebrate that existence is. Wow, we. Don't you realize that sitting around here in this room, with our ordinary everyday faces and clothes and personalities, we are sitting smack in the middle of the beatific vision, and that this is infinity and eternity precisely. It is it, and this is the beatific vision. This is God. But Confucius once said, a man who understands the Tao in the morning can die contentedly in the evening. That is to say, if you have ever lived one complete moment, you can be ready to die. You can say, well, that was it. That was the good, that I've had it. What you are basing, deep, deep down, far, far in, is simply the fabric and structure of existence itself. Everybody is I. You all know you are you. And wheresoever beings exist throughout all galaxies, it doesn't make any difference. You are all of them. And you suddenly say, good heavens! What was I making all that fuss about? Because here we are. It's what we were looking for all the time. It's right here. And uh, that's it, that's the thing.